Maleficent is one of the most terrifying villains ever to grace the silver screen. Her commanding presence, her murderous intentions, coupled with her, well, to be quite frank, petty motivation. These all come together to make the queen of all Disney villains. Her voice specifically has a thrilling effect, making those who listen snap to attention and cringe in fear. But who provided this bone-chilling voice? Let's find out. Eleanor Audley was born in Newark, New Jersey on November 19, 1905, to a Russian immigrant family. She trained as a stage actress and made her acting debut at the age of 20 in the 1926 Broadway production of Howdy King. The musical ran from December 13th all the way to January 1st of the next year. Like many of her fellow actors, Audley found work on radio. She was often cast as imposing, icy, and aristocratic female authority figures. Originally, she was considered 100% bad up until Lizzo took that from her recently. Eleanor began her radio career with a reoccurring role on the Lucio Ball, Richard Denning sitcom, My Favorite Husband. On the story of Dr. Kildare, she played the receptionist at Blair General Hospital. Her busiest radio role was on Father Knows Best, where Eleanor played Elizabeth Smith, the next-door neighbor of the family Anderson. All of this means essentially nothing to you, except for maybe the one radio dork completely salivating at these facts right now. Eleanor Audley's motion picture debut was an unaccredited role in 1949's The Story of Molly X, a women's prison picture that featured many old-time radio veterans. So let's move on to the thing we want to hear about. Her role in... Cinderella! Cinderella! All right, all right, I'm coming. Eleanor's second film would prove to be one of her most memorable. She provided the voice of Lady Tremaine, the wicked stepmother, in the animated classic Cinderella. Tremaine possesses no supernatural powers, has no henchmen, and uses no violence. Yet her villainy is chilling in a quiet but deadly manner. Audley rarely raises her voice or moves beyond a slow, steady pace in her line readings. However, her cold, calm, icy delivery has made Lady Tremaine one of the most intimidating villains in Disney history and would go on to make people never trust an old woman who loves cats. Except Betty White, of course. Why, Cinderella, you're not ready, child. I'm not going. Not going? Oh, what a shame. The whole studio just loved Eleanor Audley. I think they knew that they couldn't have found anybody better. Cinderella? She had authority. There's a command in her voice. Don't think that Hold I... Hold your tongue. There's sarcasm. There are so many qualities that are in that voice. After all, we did make a bargain. And then, of course, Frank's animation with that. It is, it is powerful. And I never go back on my word. It's Eleanor Audley and me, because we worked and talked about these, and we worked on how to do it. I liked uh, where she's first lying in bed, petting Lucifer, her cat, and telling... Uh, Cinderella said, you have uh, idle time on your hands, time for vicious practical jokes. Now, let me see. There's the large carpet in the main hall. Clean it. <laughs> she made me jump every time. She whirled around and so slapped, and her eyes were real strong. But I just finished. Do them again. And then mellow down again. Then scrub the terrace, sweep the halls and the stairs, clean the chimneys, and of course there's the mending and the sewing and the laundry. Oh, yes. And one more thing. And don't forget to give Lucifer his bath. You know, she, her voice had such color in it. And whenever you captured that in the drawings, it gave you a very uh, satisfying feeling. Eleanor continued to appear in films throughout the 1950s. However, she was much more successful on television, where she played mothers, society matrons, and guest starred on everything from I Love Lucy to The Twilight Zone. She had reoccurring roles in the Beverly Hillbillies as Mrs. Millicent Schuler Potts, the school's prim headmistress that Jethro Bodine eventually attends. My dear man, this is a most exclusive private school. The tuition is quite expensive, well beyond your means, I'm sure. Does that mean it costs a lot of money? That is precisely what it means. Well, I can pay you if it ain't over 25 million. <laughs> 25 million? Yes, ma'am, that's all I got. Dollars? Yes, ma'am. She is probably best known for her role in Green Acres as Eunice Douglas, the snobbish mother of Oliver Wendell Douglas. Oh, Oliver. Why did you have to do this? 
couldn't you have been happy out there farming the South 40? I want a real farm, like the one I was born on. If anyone's to blame, you are. If anyone's to blame, it's your father. If he hadn't insisted on staying for that last race at Saratoga, we would have made it to the hospital. <laughs> Eventually, Disney approached her again with an opposite role to the one she had played in Cinderella. Maleficent speaks in a deep, theatrical, harsh voice and deploys a bitter, jealous wit, which ensures that she appears selfish, sinister, and evil, and would go on to make people never trust an old woman who loves birds. Again, except for Betty White, of course. Ah, <sighs> isn't she lovely? Audley was a fine actress. There's a lot of the facial look that uh, I put into Maleficent that really is Eleanor Audley. I really felt quite distressed at not receiving an invitation. You weren't wanted. Not what? Oh. oh dear, what an awkward situation. I had hoped it was merely due to some oversight. Well, in that event, I'd best be on my way. Audley went above and beyond in her portrayal of Maleficent and Lady Tremaine, acting as the animator's physical model. Working this hard wasn't always easy. She initially turned down Maleficent's role because she was battling tuberculosis at the time of casting. However, she pushed through and provided a performance that would delight for years to follow. Many can recall the sound of her trademark, Wicked Cackle. Eleanor lets her haughty voice revel in sarcasm and threats. The evil fairy has moments of high triumph and low cunning, and one can almost hear the dragon she will become in Audley's vocal work. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. I set my trap for a peasant, and lo, I catch a prince. <laughs> Away with him. But gently, my pets. Gently. Eleanor spent the next 10 years guest starring in television roles. Around 1969, she provided the voice of Madame Leota, the spirit of a psychic medium in the Haunted Mansion ride at Disneyland. Serpents and spiders, hail of a rat, fall in the spirits wherever they're at. In 1970, Audley retired, and 21 years later, she passed away from respiratory failure in Los Angeles, California. Eleanor's contributions to Disney films are boundless. Although she was sweet and caring in real life, she delivered two infamous and terrifying villains to the screen. This was done with her incredible ability to create a commanding presence, something that she also brought to her many television and radio roles. These performances will live on forever. Thank you for watching this episode of Dizographies. Click the thumbs up button below if you liked it, and if you want to be notified when the next episode comes out, consider subscribing. Comment below with characters you would like to see us cover. Further reading and references are linked in the description. We hope to see you in another Dizography.